review. Today I'm reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Starscream. I'm now starting to review Studio Series figures. So let's get into it. Uh, so fans requested me to review Studio Series figures. So uh, here you go. I'm reviewing Studio Series figures. Also, I stopped collecting Studio Series figures because of the designs. They don't look as nice. The quality of the paint isn't as great as before. And they're not as tall as they used to be. So yeah, that's why I stopped uh, collecting them. But now I'm going to. Okay, let's remove them from the box. Okay, you have, you have them. Oh, that box. What else? Oh yeah, the bug drops. Here you have his backdrop, and there's a bunch of papers that fell. So yeah, that's basically it for the unboxing. Not as interesting, but hey. Okay, here we have him removed from the plastic. Um, so yeah. Oh no, you're okay. You're okay. All the designs look exactly the same. His design looks exactly the same to Blitzwing because they are Seekers. Um, so yeah, got that. The back. Mm. It doesn't have a turtle back. That's what I gotta say. It looks nice from the back. Really cool. The legs I don't find as detailed, uh, but hey, the, the front eh, looks nice, looks good. Uh, the hands aren't as detailed, they're not articulatable. I don't feel the paint really shows how good the figure looks. The figure looks really nice, I'm surprised. All those details aren't great, the paint isn't good, but he looks nice. I see a lot of potential in him. Now we're going to measure his height. He's around, okay, let's see. 18 centimeters tall or 17 and a half centimeters tall. So yeah, that's basically his length. And he also comes with this weapon. I don't think it looks that nice, but hey. So what you get, what you get. Now how do I put that gun? Okay, so that you see this little tab, you just have it right, right there. Okay, ta-da, you've got his gun. And I don't think it looks nice, but uh, it's fine. I, I think the figure looks overall nice, it's just the details aren't good, and the paint. Over, But I think it, I think they really stepped up their game, and he's really sturdy, he feels really sturdy. But I wish the sizes were bigger for these Studio Series figures. I see a lot of potential in these. But now, we're basically done with the robot mode, now we're going to transform him into his vehicle mode. Before we start transforming him, I bet the hand is going to look like this. And I put the gun. So it can look much neater. So it looked like so it looks like this. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Now let's get into transformation. You just bend the hands. That's what I showed you. Remove the null rays. Make them scorch tighten. Just let them get up. Then oh yeah, and you see this piece? Just push it flat. Now you remove, push this. Push this. Okay, like so. Turn this around. It's gonna look like this. Same thing to the other side. Okay. Now what we do next is wait. <clears throat> what should I do next? Oh yeah, I, I forgot. Uh, I already pushed this. So what you have to do is just push this in like so. I forgot that part, but I think I already did it. So let's go now. Give me a second. I think I need to move these out of the way. Okay, yeah. Now it needs to look like this. What you do next is open this piece, this, this piece so you can have that thing in the front. Ah, really sharp. This is not made by hard plastic, so, yep, yeah, it's not hard plastic. Now as we continue, uh, we get to the legs. What we do is just push this around. Turn this. And make sure to... To do it like so, it looks nice. And also you just unbend that, like so. Turn this around, push this. And then you see this piece right here that just gets in there. No, ah. Okay, just turn that. Okay, it looks like this. Now we do the same thing to the other side, except this piece. 
Okay, so I had to turn this, so it's gonna look fine. Good. Okay, now it looks like this. Okay, so what you do, just push this. Okay, you've got that now. Now, what you do, just push it down. And then connect it together, just a bunch of tabs. Oh yeah, and also you need to tap this in right here. Okay, so you just push this together. You push this in like so. Then we open this. Okay, what else? We have to turn the hands around. Yep. Okay, tap this. Okay, oh, no, no. Okay, we call me just remove this so now we do the same thing to the other side this one's tough okay ouch my finger so yeah you got that I need to turn the hand around so the blue part can like be like this this turn this around now there are no tabs for the hands so it looks like this now got that you just bend the wings like so now what you do you see this piece right here Connect right there. Uh, wait, not there. Th there. Oh, wait, wrong side. Okay, so it's supposed to look like this. Now do the same thing to the other side. No, no, no. I'll get that. And now for the finishing touch, just pull this up. And then you see this piece right here. Uh, the gun. Ta da! It's on there. So, yeah, that's basically it for the transformation of the Studio Series Starscream. Okay, from transferring him, he looks really decent. His vehicle mode looks nice. The front is amazing. I love the tail. It looks really cool. The side it looks good. That wing, that Decepticon insignia, that Null Ray. Ah, looks nice. The back. Starscream's face is there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the jet boosters are nice. They look cool. The wing isn't just standing there like the other figure, the Starstorm. The uh, Cyber Factory Starstorm. This is just sturdy. That's nice. The other side looks nice. But from under, it's bulky. It's really bulky. It's like a turtle back, but for a vehicle mode. Yeah, I haven't said that. So yeah, uh, right here. I wish Starscream's face was here. So then it, we cannot see it from the back. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it for the vehicle mode. This figure is surprisingly nice. I like it. Now what we're going to do is to re transform him back to his robot mode. So yeah. Okay, remove all weapons. And no ray. Now what you do is just turn this. Okay, now he looks like that. Now push the hands out of the way because Starscream's head, after we disconnect these two, will go down like so. Ta-da, here you have that. What we do is now pull the wings back so they don't get damaged. Then what we do is just push the hands on the side until you hear that tap. Here you, here you go. Now the same thing to the other side. Okay. Now we turn this around, there you have that. What we do here is now disconnect this, and you see this, we just pull it away, like so, then the cockpit looks like this. Then what we do is just 
close this, make it do it like so. What we do is now push it up the body. You got that. Now what you do is we just pull this like so. It's supposed to look like that. Turn this around. Wait. Okay. Now the same thing to the other side. It's already done. Okay. Yep. We just turn these around. They're supposed to look like this. Now we do the legs. Do is just push this, turn this, wait, no, we keep it like so, and so it looks like this. And then you see this, we just bend it down, not bend it, but just turn it all around. Now same thing here, just okay, like so, it just needs to look like that. I should move the weapons the other way. Now, just push this. Okay, now, it's, now the leg is supposed to look like this. Same, now we do the same thing to the other side. Turn this, turn this, then we push it in, turn this around. Okay, we do it like so. Now that looks nice. Now we're going to finish it with the hands. Okay. You have your hands. Okay, that's finalized. Now what we do is just we look around. Okay, here we have him in his robot mode again. Okay, so that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found this useful. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace out. Stay safe.